what's up guys, welcome back to a new video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about external power sources. And why is that? Well, when you're traveling, or if you're using a lot of stuff with cameras, you kind of need to have a battery backup. And there's a lot of different ways you can do it. But I've been using this little cheap $20 one off of Amazon for quite some time now. And I figured it would be time to show you what I upgraded to a couple months ago. Because I talked about it, but yeah, this has seen better days, as you can see. It's wrapped in tape. It it, it kind of needs some help. Um, holds a charge for a really long time, as you can see. Sold 100%. I haven't used it for a while. And it has a flashlight that's also broken on the side, as you can see here. Oh boy, this thing has seen better days. It's wrapped up in gaff tape, just because that's really something that charge holds a good wrap. Um, when it was new and working, I got this for about 20 bucks off Amazon. It has some ports on the bottom here. What do we have here? We have four USB-C's, four USB ports, and then we have a lightning in and a micro USB in. So, um, not all of these work anymore. I'm not sure which ones work, but I believe about two of them work. And two of them are fast charge and two of them are slow charge. I can actually show you that real quick, so let's just go ahead and focus again. I'm going to grab a cable here. I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to plug it into a RAM in here, and I'm going to tell it to charge this other battery pack. So here, you should be able to see this, it gets to focus. This is a fast charger at 2 amps, 5 volts. Now, if we go up one, Okay, this is also a fast charging port. Again, 2 amps, 5 volts. Now if we go to the other side, I believe none of these work. Maybe they do, I don't know. Okay, we can see, oh, they all do. Okay, so this is a 5 volt, 1 amps. This is a slow charger. And then we go up here to this bad boy. Okay, so we have one dead plug on here. Okay, so those are our slow chargers. Now, if we grab this power cable here that's charging my phone and plug it in, because remember it has two different charges, it has a lightning and a USB. We'll plug it into our lightning friend here if we can get it to line up. And it's charging, or we can just use a, where is it? Here it is. And it's charging again, here. Cool, so it charges and it works. All hunky-dory like that. Cool, so that's this guy. This is a, I believe this is a 12,000, this is a 14,000 million power battery pack, uh, 70 watt hours. So you can travel with it, but um, it has seen better days. And again, it's a slow charger. It does work, but it's slow and not the best use of power. Um, I usually have this in my camera bag just as a, if I get in a pinch, I need a power source really. Um, but again, not the best thing in the world. I don't know if you can see this outline on it here, but that's actually an accepted to Moody sticker that was on here originally. Cover that up with some gaff tape because you know I'm at Wheaton now, for now at least. So what did I replace it with? Well, I decided to cash out, spend some money. I believe the one I replaced it with was $69.99. I got this from Micro Center, but it's this little sleek boy here. Uh-huh, yep, no name brand on it. So what exactly is this battery pack? And what ports does it have and all of that? Well, as far as a name, I can give you this name. The best name, I keep looking down because I can't focus this in right. The best name in battery packs and everything, Mophie. Actually, I actually also have a Mophie on phone case, but um, we'll get into that in another video. And let's look at these specs on the back. Holy smokes, look at this. 20,000 milliamp hours. That's big. So what is that actual in watt hours? That is, this is 75 watt hours. So this is 75 watt hours. Um, so you can fly with this, which is great. Um, my, actual, my laptop I do for all my work stuff is a 100 watt hour battery. So uh, that is, or it's just a 99.8 watt hour battery. So you can fly with that as well because the limit is 100. Supposedly, I've never actually had someone stop me. I, yeah. Um, the perks of flying as a photographer, they unpack your entire camera bag. It's fun. Um, so if you, so always make sure, that's a tip, so always, always, if you're flying with your camera stuff, always make sure you give yourself extra time because they will unpack your entire camera bag. Um, yeah, it's so fun. Okay, so, ports. There's three of them as opposed to the other, the other one that had more. 
Come on, focus, there we go. So we have two USBs. These are USB 3, not USB C, but they are USB 3. And then we have a USB C here in the middle. Now, uh, compare that, of course, to the old pack. Um, quite a difference. Four versus, or six versus three. But these three are actually are a lot more powerful. So, um, these here will charge at your normal USB 2 speeds. I believe here on the bottom it says, yeah, those are 5 volt, 2 amp. So those are actually the fastest that this one can put out, the sodium, the 5 volt, 2 amp. I'm just going to have a flashlight here because these are, yeah. So those are 5 volt, 2 amp. I'm sorry. You'd think I could read. So those are 5 volt, 2.4 amp, or 9 volt, 2 amp, or 12 volt, 1.5 amp. Um, and then the USB-C, remember there's only one of those that just smack in the middle, right there. On focus, there we go, that's USB-C right there in the middle. That is a USB-C 5 volt, 3 amp, 2 volt, 2 amp, or 12 volt, 1 and a half amp. So yeah, that's nice. Anything else interesting on the back of here? Okay, so let's actually talk about these ports a little bit more. So obviously, again, we have those handy dandy ports that are right there. Um, this middle one is the one I'm going to talk about the most because it's the most interesting. It is a fast charger. Is I can tell you this is an 18 watt. You can probably see it there on the top. This is an 18 watt fast charger. So that's great. Um, that's like a good fast charging. Uh, iPhones can charge at 20 watts. Well, the new ones can. Mine can't. Um, but this is as fast as it can charge. Now, this 20,000 milliamp hour, this is something that is interesting. It can charge my phone for days on end, my iPad for a couple times, and if I get into a pinch, I have charged my laptop with this. Now, obviously, it won't charge my laptop completely, but if it gets into a pinch and I forget to bring a charger, I can just shut down the computer. I can just turn everything off on the computer, plug this in, walk away, and I will come back, and I'll have a at least three-quarters fill battery pack. And this does say it's an 18 watt charger, but I have found actually, similarly with this, it will boost, this old one, it will actually boost up at way above that. So if I was to, I'm not going to, but if I was to uh, plug this in, it would charge at its 18 watts, but then it would actually peak a couple times much higher above that. I actually saw this one when I had like a bunch of different USB ones plugged in, I saw this peaking up to like 20 and 30 watts. Um, not for long, but it could peak up, and that was great. So, yeah, these are battery packs. This video's kind of become weird and wonky, but just the thing is, always make sure you travel with multiple battery packs. So that makes it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you found it interesting, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that. Links are below for where you can find this Moby battery pack. I think they still make it. Um, yeah, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.